everyone, it's Adam Mew here today to show you guys how to cut t-shirts to your liking. I think this is more pointed towards uh, female gamers that want to make their gaming shirts fit more or even band t-shirts. Sometimes they're like unisex and they're more geared towards guys and here's to make like do it yourself, cut your t-shirt to what you might want and make you look a little bit more sexier. So there's different ways of cutting your t-shirts and I got sent these two cute t-shirts from Yellow Bulldog. They are the Call of Duty designs I picked out. Um, there are other t-shirts, I think they run around $12.99 pounds. Um, so they are based in the UK. They have actually a really cute onesie that I saw also for Call of Duty. But uh, I wanted to pick these two Call of Duty designs that I like the most. Let me see if I can show you the picture. So this is what this one looks like. Pretty cool, I like the faded effect. And then of course I like Nuketown. Come on. We've seen Nuketown so many times. Like, I just remember playing Nuketown and just dying a lot. It's just crazy. Lots of madness. But I'm going to teach you guys how to make these look super cute. These two t-shirts were sent by Yellow Bulldog if you guys want to check it out. Here's a link over here. Uh, I'm going to try these on uh, just to show you guys how it looks like on my body. And then we're going to see them before and after. And maybe, you know, maybe you like it the way it is before. Um, I personally like to customize things because I want it to fit me better, and obviously I want to look sexy while I'm wearing it. So the size I got was a US small, which is a, a British medium, or an Australian medium. And I'm, I assume, based on the size, that this is perfect for me. Because, like I said, I think this is for males. They don't typically say it, but usually I assume this is for a guy. So look at this, this is pretty baggy. I already can tell, this is gonna fit me almost just right. Um, let's see this one. Also the same size. And... Look at that. Pretty, pretty kind of baggy. So I'm gonna tell you guys, there's different ways of cutting this. If you want to, well I'm gonna show you also me cutting it, but this is, uh, one thing that I'm not showing is I already have two designs planned. One is like the choker type and basically you cut around here and then you cut like a little v-neck. That I'll show you guys. The one that I won't show you guys is uh, off the shoulder. All I have to do is cut around this way. So just think about how uh, open shoulder looks like and then you just cut that way and that's what you'll get. So today I'm going to show you, like I said, that v-neck that looks like a, a v-neck with a choker on it. That's going to look super cute. Um, and then this one. This one, I'm gonna do where you make slashes across here and it'll be sexy, I promise you. I mean, there's more complicated things that you can do, but um, I'm gonna show you guys the basics because I, myself, I've watched so many tutorials, I wanted to try it out and this is the perfect time, especially since I love gaming and I have a lot of gaming t-shirts and I wanted to show you guys a tutorial how to make them look sexier. All right, anyway, I'm gonna try these on and I'll show you guys how it looks like. So here's the shirt. I think it's pretty cute on me, but it, it just so happens to fit me pretty good, all right? But uh, I think I wanna make it look a lot more cuter, like I said with the slashes, uh, it's gonna be sexier. <laughs> and I'm gonna try on the other t-shirt and show you guys how it looks like. It should look the same though. So here's the other one. But yeah, can you imagine once I do the cutting out here, it's gonna look great. And I'm gonna show you guys how this looks once I do it. So it's a little bit more feminine for me. Uh, like I said, most of these gaming shirts are unisex. Um, I usually wear like a small or medium, it depends. I can also wear a large and women's size, but when it comes to guy sizes, usually extra small and small fits me. <laughs> what is Hanzo doing? Hey Hanzo. You think we should work on our stuff now? Yeah, should we? Okay, let's go do it. All right, so now that we've seen the shirts on me, we're gonna do the do-it-yourself cutting right now. So what you might need is either, um, a pencil that will wash off on your shirts. Sometimes people use, I think, the blue colored um, pencil that they use at fabric shops. You can also use chalk, and I, that's all I think I think of. You can also use eyeliner if you really wanna use a pencil eyeliner. And we're gonna change the angle because I have this little uh, table for me to cut things on. Um, we're gonna do the choker one that I've explained. So here is the shirt that we're gonna do. Make sure you fold everything pretty good. Um, and here is the shirt. 
kind of make sure you guys can see it. Um, and you're not going to want to cut the back. That is not what you want to cut. The only thing you want to cut is the front. And basically, you see where the half line folds, where the shirt kind of folds? You don't want to cut past that. You just want to keep that. And basically, you're cutting around the collar. The collar will be the cool choker that we get. Um, be careful of not cutting into the seam. I'm trying to see if you guys can see it. There is a seam around here, and you want to cut under it. You don't want to cut on it. It's probably not what you want. So there's that. And then you have to figure out how much you want to cut into it, as in you're going to cut this V, or a triangle, that goes down here. It's going to cut into the graphic a little bit, but hey, that is uh, a little bit of a compromise that you're going to have to do because we want this little v-neck. So I'm going to try to decide if how, how much I want to get cut. And I already know I want to get cut down to here. That's probably where I want it to be. I mean, if you want to be uh, going down to your belly button, you can do more. But I think all the way down here would be fine and up here. So it's literally going to end here. Um, I think I might want to wrap, <laughs> I think I want a little marker just to mark it off. All right, I'm back. I have a pencil. Uh, that's probably gonna wash off. Probably means yes. All right, I'm gonna draw a line. Um, I don't know if you guys can pick it up. I can see the line here. It's reflective. I doubt it's gonna pick up on the camera, but uh, I'll try my best to zoom in after I draw it. I drew the lines. Clearly, I don't know if you guys can see it at all. There are lines. I think I'm gonna start in between here. Um, probably, hmm. Well, the collar's always the best place to start. So, like I said, if you really need a chalk, you should really use chalk, because yes, it is scary to chop into this. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna poke a little hole. I'm gonna start from this edge. Poke a little hole. Please don't hurt me. I think I'm gonna cut, cut out the, the V first, um, just because uh, I thought about it. It probably was a better idea to cut out the V. Just just saying, just putting it out there. All right, so I'm going by my guide. Hopefully I, I'm making a straight as possible line. And hopefully they're even. If they're not, uh, we're gonna rock it. All right, and then now we're gonna cut around. That looks like this. Oh yeah. Uh, make sure there's no parts where it looks like there's stragglers, like here. I don't know if you guys can see, there's like a little bit, it needs to be curved. And then what you're gonna do is you pull on all this. Then you pull on the edges. Make sure everything is pulled. That way it doesn't stretch too bad. There you have it. And it's like a choker over here. So here's how I look with um, the one with the cutout. I think it makes me look really good. And my, uh, my cleavage looks great, looks pretty uh, girlified to me. What do you think, Hansa? Hansa's just kind of dead, but yeah. I think this is something I can imagine myself going out and wearing it. Really cute, and like I said, this little choker thing also makes it look really cool because it's like a little accessory too. Alright, so next is this other shirt. This one is a little bit more complicated. So basically, we're gonna be cutting out straight lines over here, and basically, it's gonna look so cute. Um, you want it <coughs> to be like long, the first line should be pretty long. I'm gonna draw this one. Maybe you'll see it better. Or not. Or not. I, trust me, it's gonna wash off. So the first one's gonna be the longest line, 
After that, you're gonna make parallel lines that are also getting smaller, if that makes sense. And try to be equal with um, how much space there is gonna be. So I'm gonna do this, just making sure. Okay. Make this a little bit more smaller. Make this a little bit more smaller. And then make this a little bit smaller. I think that should be more than enough. Okay. And hopefully it's gonna look as sexy as what I think it should look. All right. All right, so I'm gonna flip it this way so I can cut straight lines. Um, I hope I cut straight lines. But you know what, if you make a mistake, it's totally cool. Um, and just make sure you eyeball it, make sure this is equal. I know you can hear my doggo. My doggo's like, oh, what are you doing? Why are you like messing with your shirts? That's probably what he's thinking. All right, and then maybe just make sure I'm, I'm eyeballing it. Make sure, making sure I like, kind of have the even, it's even. All right, you can always adjust as you go along. So, hopefully I can, you're gonna wanna poke a little hole. It's not easy, trust me. It's not every day that we cut a t-shirt up. But yeah, I'm trying to poke a hole here. Maybe put a little snip and that'll help us. Yeah, I put a little snip and that actually helped us get that open. Wedge your scissor in there, be careful. Now, what you're supposed to do is stretch where you cut. And it looks crazy. But you're supposed to do that. Stretch it out. All right, there you go. There you have it. Now we're gonna try it on. So here's this one. I like it. It's like, <laughs> has like a little cage effect. Pretty cute. Um, I like it because it just draws attention, obviously, to here, but at the same time it also um, has the pattern here, and it's Call of Duty. It makes it a lot more feminine, like I said, and it draws attention to the right places. <laughs> I think this one looks super cute in its own little way. Don't forget to check out um, Yellow Bulldog. The link's right over here. They have a many, many, many cute merchandise and gaming stuff. Uh, a lot of gaming memorabilia, especially if you guys can get the same shirts that I got. Like I said, um, I got a small. I don't know if there's extra smalls. I bet there is, but I got a small just just in case it would, if it would be like too tight. I don't like my clothes too tight, but this one is the right amount. Um, I think this one is looking really fabulous. So is the other one, but still, this one looks really really nice on me. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to smack that like button as hard as you can. Just don't break your mouse, okay? <laughs> and don't forget to slap that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I upload any new videos. And I also stream live on Twitch. And if you want to talk to me, hang out with me, and watch me play live, all you have to do is follow me on twitch.tv slash